This is Malika Wilbur. She is from the Tulula and Swinomish tribe located in Tulip, Washington, which is a small fishing community not far from Marysville. Wilbur first attended Brooks Institute for Photography in LA, where she received her bachelor's. And while obtaining her bachelor's, she also obtained her credentials for teaching, which she then went back to her hometown to teach at Tulula Heritage High School for about five years. While teaching, she stated that from textbooks, the recitation of the first people in traditional curricula and the media was leathered and feathered, a dying racist under- undermined her students' sense of identity and potential. Weber was upset about the respite and Wilbur was upset about the representation of Native Americans in textbooks and history books and felt that they were hiding things or keeping history information completely out of it. One example could be according to Lord Davidson of the Feminist Study is that history books fail to bring to light the missing information about Lois and Clark and their expedition. Because of what was invested in the journey of both Lois and Clark and their and their heroic aspects of fail to acknowledge the spousal violence directed towards Sacagawea as well as the native women who accompanied their husbands on this expedition. This was kept out of of books because they wanted to protect the novels for teen audiences and show the positive images instead of the truth. Another example of misinterpretation of the Native Americans is from racism. This brings forth the American psychologist article written by Belcour, Petfoloff, and Monte Stewart and Gerard. They stated that the Native Americans have historically been been and currently are highly affected by intergroup racism. Racism being the extinct of belief, attitudes, institutional arguments, and acts that tend to degenerate individuals or and acts that tend to demonstrate individuals and groups or groups because of phenotypical characteristics or ethnic groups affiliations. Long, long standing example of the intergroup racism that continues to have pervert preservation of sight effects is historical racism. It is our b- belief that historical racism has had and continues to have a profound impact on Native Americans. One final example of misinterpretation of Native Americans is stereotyping. And according to David Thomas, who wrote the, wrote the book Skull Wars, has an example about Columbus. And that when Columbus came to the Americas and met the Indians, he had, to, he had told everyone about the twin imagery of noble and bloodthirsty savages becoming a tool by which generations of Euro-Americans would define and control Indian people. From the time of the Columbus onward, the stereotypes created by newcomers led to a narrow universal failure to appreciate the interfaces and textures of actual Native American life. Because of these reasons, there are many more painting a non-realistic idea about Native Americans. Wilbur set forth to do a photography project called Project 562. This project is a continuing project where Wilbur Wilbur travels to all 562 tribes all across the United States and take portraits of these native people in their per, in their preferred entire and in an environment where, where they want to be represented. A writer for Cultural Survival magazine named Kristen Williams got an interview with Wilbur and stated that the, the inspiration for Project 562 was partly from the early enterprise of Edward Curtis, a 1900s portrait photographer who undertook a similar massive project of photography of Native Americans, but he had his 
his models staged and prepped in a certain way he wanted. Wilbur, on the other hand, wanted to portray Native Americans in their natural environment and how they want to be portrayed. So far, she has visited over 300 tribes. The first photo is of a young man in full Indian attire, standing in the middle of a library aisle. The background is black and white, and the person is in color. The color is faded, so it gives a soft and cool tone, which gives intensity. The library shelves give a leading light for the rest of the, of the picture, which also helps this picture. The respiratory this is proportioned nicely and the clarity is there the interpretation is that this young man is not ashamed of his culture and wears it proud no matter where he is another photo Wilbur, Wilbur did is of a Native, a Native American man in his older years probably about 70 he is wearing regular clothes but wears his native headdress and in the background it is it is an ocean view with boats facing each other. Again, the background is black and white, and the person is in color. The tones are cool, but this time it seems a little rocky. The picture is well proportioned and is asymmetrical. The boats are the leading lines to the rest of the pictures, so it flows evenly. The interpretation of this photo is that you can grow old and change, and change but you always stay true to what your culture is. According to the KCET article, she photographs every Native American tribe in the United States, written by Sarah Lynn, while interviewing Wilbur, as well as said that Wilbur explained that this that this project reaches large ma large massive audiences. That would be cool, but my goal is to create the new narrative for Native kids so that they can see themselves di differently. Because right now, they don't see themselves in mass media and pop culture and when they do it's a stereotypical way that's demeaning and oppressive i see these kids as my responsibility wilbur is still continuing to do this project as of today and continues on till she reaches her goal of 562 tribes